Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, May 11th and I said that we would stuff the 100 envelope challenge but I I don't know I got into creativity mode today besides having to take a three-hour break to take my cat Zippy to the groomer. So it's about a 45 to 50 minute ride down there, 45 minutes to wait for him to get shaved, and then that return, right? With a cat that sits next to me in his cage. Meow, meow, meow. I'm not, oh my gosh, I was losing my mind, losing it. But he looks like a lion. I don't have a picture of him. I tried to shoot a video. I will go through that video, but he wasn't being very cooperative, but he looks so darn cute. So that was my day. And when I got back, I was just like, I just needed to, I had colors in my brain. So I needed to get those colors out. So besides the hundred envelope challenge, you can see that that, that binder is out, right? This is my 100 envelope challenge binder. This is my tracker. Then you can see that I have my scratch off binder out. And then I have a binder that I created. Now I had two extra binders the other day. And uh, Wendy Casper asked me to do a poo binder for her specialty. And then someone, they didn't ask for it personally, they just suggested that I put this person on it this character so I wanted to share that with you it's like do I do this or do I do this hmm right or left right or left right or left um, hubby is outside and he's actually working on the pool he was out metal detecting all day I think he pulled three ticks off of him three TJ and Vinny are delivering a washer and dryer today so everybody's got something going on but I think this is gonna make you extremely happy to see. There's only one. It's going to go up on my website very soon, probably before this video even gets uploaded to YouTube. It's one. I was thinking about making more binders. Uh, let me know in the description box below if that's something that you're interested in. I, I think she came out amazing. Are you ready? Yeah, it's a her. Look at her, and I love the way her name came out. So I think she deserves to come out of the packaging. Do you want a close up of her? Do you love it? Oh, she's beautiful, right? She's absolutely stunning. So we have a Tiana. She's going to be a ride coming soon in Disney. Oh. And I think that the stores that go along with that ride are going to be delish. So we have Tiana. All right. So on Monday, right? Was it Monday? I did scratch offs. But then when I was doing the scratch offs, I realized that I really enjoyed them. And I had a feeling that they were going to go pretty quickly. We added some, um, we have Poo, we have Tigger. These are from Mama Bear, uh, Budget with Mama Bear. This was hers. This was something I had created for her, but this is definitely on the website. We've got t uh, Eeyore, Tigger, Piglet, which is just so excitingly happy, right? We have Nemo, and then we have Pooh. I couldn't stop there. Oh, did you see what was underneath that? Oh, did you see that? So this is my scratch off binder. We're going to be adding low denominations and high denomination scratch offs. Are you ready? Super excited. I know, I know. Do you see her? So this is a $30 scratch off. I'm like so excited. I'm shaking. 30. 
150. Oh, look at that. Ready? 75. Oh, do they not scream like, okay, happy, grumpy, dopey, sneezy, bashful, sleepy, doc. You know? Okay. Then we have it in 35. So the, okay, so you're getting, you're getting it. It's, it's my challenges, but now adding a scratch off to it. So if you loved these challenges, you've got a scratch off that goes with. So this is 35 and I had to do her. Oh my gosh. Like I said, okay. If you saw my Disney haul, you know, let me find it. It's right here. I have I have some giveaway stuff that I'm just waiting for that perfect time to do it. But I did grab her in a coin. Give it a second. It's going to focus. <gasps> Doesn't she look amazing? She's in a coin. This is going to be a giveaway soon. But she makes me smile. Even though she's evil, she just makes me smile. Okay. So she is a $30 scratch off or a hundred and fifty dollar scratch off then last but not least and you're gonna understand why because I'm gonna insert a picture after I show this to you <gasps> look at him I got to meet him a couple of times while I was in Disney let me show you some of the clips I'll insert them right here Wasn't that cute? So Donald is either 30 or 60. So like I said, we have higher denominations and lower denominations. So we have Donald Duck, Maleficent. We've got the Seven Dwarfs. And we've got the Evil Queen. Oh. And we got Tiana. And I think we have a... um. I think we got a pretty decent uh, thumbnail. Do you love it? I love it. Okay, so this is all going to be up on my website, which is Donna Powered by Creativity .com. Okay, these are mine, so they're going to go inside of my um, scratch envelope. Or binder, whatever it is. And I will work on these next week. Shall we see how much money we have in here? Oh, let me let me just address this. Someone asked me a question in regards to this. Let me show it to you. It is called the kitchen sink. You see it? Hot, hot and cold in the faucet, right? It actually turns. And it's Mickey's pants. This was actually... In Magic Kingdom, I don't know if it's sold anywhere else, but it's in Magic Kingdom, and it is it's with ice cream. You get to choose 
your scoops, your toppings, your extras. You know, if you want a Reese's peanut butter cup or Reese's pieces or you want just chocolate chips, you design this any way you want. And it's enough. I'm not kidding you. My girlfriend and I couldn't finish it. So I believe that this can be a nice treat for a family of four and share it. But it's, it's too much for one. Too much for one. Maybe my husband can do it, but... But yeah, I just wanted to share that. It does come in Minnie Mouse. And I think that when I go back in for the not-so-scary Halloween party, I'll probably grab Minnie Mouse. All right. Let's stuff some 100 envelope challenge. So we have 50, 70, 90. 110, 30, 50, 70, 90. $210. Now this is my this is my spin on the 100 envelope challenge. So I'm still calling it that, but it's not 100 envelopes. In this envelope, you have denominations of 1 through 9. In this, you have 10 through 18, 19 through 27, 28 through 36, 37 through 45, 46 to 54, 55 to 63, 64 to 72, 73 to 81, 82 to 90, 90 to 91 to 100. So this way you can fill these, condense them, and not have to fold your money up and stuff. And then when it's time to unstuff, unfold those bills because that literally tortured me. So when I got my money I thought about this so this is what I'm doing I'm going to do 60 50 40 30 20 and 10 I'm going to do even numbers so that's how I want to do it today 60 50 40 30 20 and 10 I'm coloring in my hearts with my red crayon. I love these. These are called twistables. I just love these. So let's start with um, 10. So I already did 10. Oh, booger. All right, you know what? I have a dollar in my pocketbook. Let me grab it. Actually, you know what? We're not going to grab it. We're going to do number nine. Oh, we did number nine. I was going to try to stuff a little bit more. Hold on. I have my wallet right here. Okay. We have a dollar. All right. So we're going to do 11. I'm going to color in number 11. We're not going to count. We're just going to stuff. All right. Then we said we were going to do 20. And 20 is going to go in number 20. So 20's envelope is over here. There was nothing in that envelope. Then we said we would do 30. And 30 is right here in this one. Oh, we got some money in there. I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then we have 40. Okay, and then let's do 50. Oh, goodness. You know what? We're going to add the 50 for 48. That's what we're going to do. Now we're actually saving a little bit more. So we're going to stuff this as 48. Very nice. And then this one is going to go as 60. I think next time around, I'm going to try to do these two and finish a row. I don't know. We'll see. So let's put this into this envelope. And that is our 100 envelope challenge stuffing for today. Oh, my gosh. What a day. 
Um, oh, I got my car back. It was the um, pulley on my alternator. It must have froze or and then broke off, whatever. So they replaced that, my alternator, and the uh, belt. I think that's what it was. It cost me $200, so I paid the guy, and I said to him, what was that knocking in the front of my car? He said to me, my struts have to be replaced. So I said to him, can I do that when my inspection's up in September? And he said, yeah, if you don't mind the knocking noise. I was like, okay. And I said, all right, we'll do it in September. And then I'm thinking, I got the wedding in September. So I think I have to put an envelope in my um, sinking funds for my car. He said it would be $500, so I think a couple of savings challenges will feed that, and that's going to be a priority because I'd really like to get that done before September then. Just might as well cross that off my list. So that's going to be a goal and a challenge. We're stuffing this on Thursdays. Tomorrow I'll be back with probably something you asked for. And uh, on Saturday, we will be doing some Savings Challenge games. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. I know this was kind of a quick video, but I will see you tomorrow in the next one. Bye.